family, Miss Sarah here, and I'm so happy you could be with me today. I've got bees on my dress, and I have bumblebee tights because we just sang the bumblebee song, and I'm making a pun. That means I'm using one word and um, referencing the other way it's used. So a bumblebee and be with me. That's so silly. So we're gonna read another fairy tale today. It's called the, can you guess? There's a clue in the illustration. It's all about this guy, the gingerbread man. And I have some characters in my magnet area for you over here today. I've got all the different characters in the story, except I'm missing my old man. I don't know where he went. So I just have the old lady. And right now at the beginning of the story, she's in her house with her oven. And if you know this story, um, there's a lot of talking animals in it, and there's even a talking cookie. So it's fictional, that means it's not true, it's someone using their imagination, but it's so much fun. And it's a very, very silly story, and it's really fun to read, and we've read it in our classroom together a lot of times. Have you ever read it? Yeah, it's really, really fun. So it's called The Gingerbread Man. And the author's name is Bonnie Dobkin, she wrote, um, she also wrote The Three Little Pigs the other day. She's retelling the story. That means she heard someone else tell it and now she's writing it down. That's called retelling. And the illustrator is Paula Pertile. So her job was to draw the pictures. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. All right, well, I have my glasses on today because my eyes were tired. So you can put yours on today too, ready? These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and close up the book. All right, let's get started. The Gingerbread Man, that's the title of the story. And I open up the front cover, and a lot of times we have a title page, and that means the title's there again, The Gingerbread Man. And I already have a clue about what he's gonna do because his body is like this. He looks like he's about to do some kind of running. Ooh, let's see. So, like I said, I miss the old man. I don't know where he went, but the old lady is here with us. So, once upon a time, there it is again. That's how lots of fairy tales start. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived together in an old bakery. Do you know what a bakery is? Yeah, a bakery is a place where people bake. They bake bread, or they might bake cakes. They bake lots of different things, maybe muffins. What else is baked that you can eat? <gasps> Cookies, yum. They baked cake. oh, it tells us they baked cakes and pies, breads and muffins, and popovers so light they almost floated. I think a popover is a kind of bread. That sounds really yummy. Do you like, um, do you like pies and breads and muffins? No, me too. I love like um, a pumpkin muffin, mm, yum. But what they loved to make most were gingerbread cookies. Have you ever had a gingerbread cookie? Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of a little bit, it has like a cinnamony taste. I really like the way it tastes. Wow, they have a lot of baking things in there in their bakery and they even have ingredients over here. That means the things to make cookies. They have butter. I wonder what else you need to make cookies. You can check the illustration. There's eggs and flour. Let's see. Gingerbread boys and gingerbread girls. Gingerbread squirrels, gingerbread dogs, gingerbread logs. All of these are made of gingerbread. Wow. You can make a lot out of gingerbread. It's really strong and like sturdy, kind of like in the Three Little Pigs book. But I think that's why people use it to make a gingerbread house because it's a it's like a stiff kind of cookie. So I think that helps when you're making something with it. Okay, let's see. I know, said the little old woman. Here she is. She said, I know. That's dialogue when the characters are talking. So now she's talking. Let's make a big gingerbread man to put in our window. That's a great idea, said the old man. They mixed flour and butter and eggs. Here, let's get a bowl. Okay, crack your egg. Shh, shh, shh. You did it. Add some flour. Let's add one cup of flour and butter too. Cut your butter in half and 
Now we're gonna have to mix it because the butter is really stiff. Oh, use your muscles, use your biceps. You might have to switch arms. You might have to use two arms. Oh, good mixing. It's getting there. They mixed and mixed and they had enough dough, that means like what you make a cookie out of, for body, arms, and legs. Then they rolled the dough flat with a rolling pin and then they made the shape in a baking tin. So they have a rolling pin. We use a rolling pin sometimes with Play-Doh. So let's pretend we're gonna roll out the gingerbread man. So take your dough, put it down. Right now it's in a ball, like a sphere like this. And we want it to be flat. We don't want it to be 3D, we want it to be 2D, that means flat. So get your rolling pin, roll, roll, roll your dough, roll it nice and flat. Roll, 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 roll. Now it's nice and flat. <laughs> I made up that song. Okay, now we have to cut out the shape of a gingerbread man. So we need to cut out the head and the arms, two arms and two legs. There we go. Now we can bake it in the oven. How hot should we make the oven? How many degrees? Wow. When I make cookies at home, I put my oven at 350 degrees. And that's going in the oven right now. So I have to get this little gingerbread man and I'm gonna put him right in the oven. There he goes. What do you think is gonna happen next? So the gingerbread man's in the oven. Hmm, and this is a fairy tale. So we know sometimes things happen from our imagination. So you can imagine what might happen next. You can make a prediction. Oh my goodness, let's see. A wonderful smell filled the air. Mm, pretend you smell something yummy. Mm. The little old woman and the little old man sniffed and sighed. Like this, sniff, sigh, <gasps> sniff, sigh. <gash> that means, oh, when they sigh, they're like, it smells so good. Suddenly there was a rattling and a clattering. Rattling means like a shaking like this, and a clattering means like kind of banging. Where could that be coming from? What is that sound? Let me out! Let me out! A voice cried from inside the oven. Let me out now! A voice from inside the oven? Who's inside the oven? <gasps> the gingerbread man is saying, let me out? He has character dialogue too? Wow, well I guess this is a fairy tale so cookies can talk. Why does he want to get out of the oven? Oh, I forgot. It's really extremely scalding hot in oven, so he might not be comfortable. The little old woman flung open the door. Out popped the gingerbread man. That's the name of our story. You're alive, said the woman. You can talk, said the man. Yes, said the gingerbread man, and I can run away from you. Goodbye, he dashed out the door. So dash means run, so he dashed, that means he ran really fast right out the door. I'm gonna move the, the oven over here and the old lady over here and pretend that he ran out of the oven and out the door. Why do you think he ran away? Yeah, maybe he didn't want to be eaten. I think that's why they were baking them. You see this lady's face? She's like, oh, she looks so surprised. Can you make that face? I would be surprised too if my cookie was talking. Let's see. The little old lady chased after the gingerbread man. She said, wait, come back. We baked you to put you in our window. But the gingerbread man just laughed. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. We say that a lot in this story. That's like a repeated phrase that we say a lot, so you can practice it too. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. It rhymes with can and man. So he's saying he's really fast. Wow, I see more surprise faces on the townspeople. I mean, the people who live in towns. The illustrator drew their mouth like an oval like this and their eyebrows going up to show us that they're surprised. What are they surprised about? Surprised that there's a cookie running down the street. What would you do if you saw a cookie running down the street? Yeah. Have you ever seen something that really surprised you? What was it? <gasps> wow. That is shocking. I can't believe that. Okay, let me see. Okay, I have another character coming over here. This is a police officer, so here's my police officer. Here he is. 
Let's see. The gingerbread man ran down the middle of the street. He ran by a police officer and stuck out his tongue. Stuck out his tongue like this? This this gingerbread man's a little bit silly. I wouldn't, I don't really think that I would want to act like him because sticking out your tongue at someone isn't always nice. But I think it's fun to read about in a fairy tale. Hey, said the policeman, you can't insult an officer of the law. Insult means kind of like make somebody feel bad or tease them. Then he smelled the wonderful gingerbread smell. He's like, mmm, you smell like a wonderful snack. So the police officer wants to eat the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man laughed and said, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. So here comes the police officer chasing him and the old lady and the old man. But like I said, I don't know where he went. So they're chasing him. I ran away from the old woman, I ran away from the man, and I can run away from you too. Yes, I can. <gasps> oh, a new character. Who's that? A doggy. Now this is a fairy tale. Do you think the dog will talk? Yes, a lot of times in fairy tales we have talking animals. So here comes the gingerbread man. I'm going to scoot my characters down. On the edge of the town, the gingerbread man passed a mangy dog eating out of a garbage can. Mangy means like he's kind of dirty. Looks like he doesn't have a home. Ruff! yelled the dog, putting his head out. Now, oh wait, I forgot a line. I was confused, so I have to go back. I read too fast. Let me try again. I'm going to follow the text with my finger so I don't miss anything. He kicked the can as he raced by. Oh, the gingerbread man kicked the dog's can that he was eating out of. That wasn't very helpful. Ow, said the dog, pulling his head out of the can. That was mean. Then he sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. Mmm, wait, you taste better than garbage. But the gingerbread man laughed. Uh-oh. It says, and said, dot, dot, dot. That's an ellipsis. Three dots, dot, dot, dot is an ellipsis. That means something's coming. I gotta turn the page. What do you think the gingerbread man's gonna say? He's gonna say, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm that gingerbread man. Let's see who he's running away from now. So he's running away from the dog, the police officer, and the old woman, and that old man, wherever he might be. I wonder who he'll see next. Do you remember which character he sees next? In different books, it might be a little bit different. Oh wow, look at this. He saw two characters. What's that? A horse and a cow. Here he comes. It looks like he's on a farm. Now the gingerbread man was into a field where a horse and a cow were grazing. Grazing means eating, like eating grass. And he ran up to them and pulled their tails. That gingerbread man needs to learn how to be more kind. He could have just said hello said the horse. That hurts, said the cow. Their eyebrows are going like this. They seem angry. They didn't like it when he pulled their tails. Next time he can just say hello. Then they sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. Wait, come back. You'd be much tastier than grass. But the gingerbread man just laughed <laughs> and said dot dot dot. Here's my ellipses. What's he gonna say? You remember? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm that gingerbread man. I ran away from the old woman. I ran away from the old man. I ran away from the police and a dog in a garbage can. I'm faster than anything on gingerbread feet. Wow, the next part of my plan is to run away from you. I can, I can. Wow, so let's check. He's running away. And it looks like he's got this cow chasing him, this horse, even though that horse is going in the wrong direction. Look at that horse. That dog's chasing him, police officer, and the old lady. Wow, my board is getting filled up with characters. I wonder if there's any characters left. I think there might be one more. Do you remember? Predict who might be next. Ooh, I forgot about this. Look at this. So I'm going to move.
going to help me tell a story. I'm going to move these guys up here. And the gingerbread man has come to a river. So I'm going to put the river over here. And our character, it's our last character that we're adding. Who's that? The fox. Here's the fox. Okay. Suddenly, the gingerbread man came to a wide river. He stopped. He knew water and cookies don't mix. Now, when we read this book together, we talked about why waters and cookies might not mix. What do you think would happen to him if he went into the water? What happens to cookies when you dip them in liquid, like milk or water? What happens? Yeah, Malaysia, I think, told me when we read this that cookies get soggy. They might get crumbly or soggy because they try to absorb the water and then their pieces break apart. So they, he could get really soggy and he could kind of fall apart. So that's why he's hesitating and he's stopping. He looked really worried. His face is like this. He doesn't know what to do. You look worried, said a voice. <gasps> Who said that? Who was that? A gingerbread man looked up. A fox was smiling at him. Oh boy. I am worried, said the gingerbread man. You see, I wonder what he's going to say. I ran away from all of these people and they're chasing me. I ran, let's check, let's check. Will you help me remember? He ran away from the cow, the horse, the dog, the police officer, and the old lady and the old man. Let's see. Okay. Climb on my back, said the fox. Oh, wait, let me see. So he said, I can't get across the river because I can't swim. And I need to get away from all these people. That's his problem. So he doesn't know what to do. Climb on my back, said the fox, stepping into the river. I'll carry you across. So the fox told him if he steps on his back, then he could have a, like a piggyback ride across the river. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a safe choice? Hmm. Should we trust this character? Should we trust the fox? That means, should we believe that he's good? Do we know that he's good? I don't know. Let's see. What do you guys think? Do you think we should get on his back? If you were the gingerbread man, would you? Yes or no? Hmm. If you know what's going to happen, tell somebody at your house what's going to happen next. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, you don't, said the gingerbread man. You just want to eat me, too. So he told him, no, I don't want to get in on your back. You're just going to eat me. I don't even like cookies, said the fox. Just climb on my tail. It's far away from my mouth, and I won't be able to eat you. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess so, said the gingerbread man. That seems safe. And he hopped on the fox's tail. Huh. So the fox told him to get on his tail because it was at the end of his body, away from his mouth. Do you think that's safe? Do we trust this fox? Hmm. Sometimes in books, foxes are known to be kind of tricky. They're kind of sly and cunning. That means they're kind of tricky. They don't always tell the truth. But I don't know if this is a character we can trust, but the gingerbread man got on his tail. So that's where we are right now. They're about to go in the water. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. The fox moved into the river. After some time, he grunted, that means he went, oh, he's getting tired. You know, my tail is getting really exhausted. Would you please move to my back? Yeah, no problem, said the gingerbread man, and he moved to the fox's back. Wait, wait, why? He's getting closer to something. He's getting closer to his mouth. Oh boy, I hope it's safe. Halfway across the river, the water got deeper. Sometimes when you go, Deeper and if you go like further into a body of water, it will get deeper and then it's a little bit um, harder to swim. You know, said the fox, I didn't think you'd, I think you'd be much safer on my shoulders. So he's telling him that his back is starting to get wet and the safest spot for him is his shoulders. You might be right, said the gingerbread man and he moved again. So he moved closer to his head, he's on his shoulders. Hmm, maybe he's not getting wet there, but is it safe for him? I wonder what's going to happen next.
Make a prediction. Do you think the gingerbread man will be saved, or do you think he will get eaten? Ooh, I wonder. That's a great prediction. Oh boy. Now they were at the deepest part of the river. Deep means it goes really far down. Have you ever been in deep water? Yeah, it takes a lot of work to swim in that water. Now even my shoulders are underwater, said the fox. Then I guess I'll just get on your head, said the gingerbread man, and he climbed up between the fox's ears. So now he's right on top of his head. On top, can you pat the top of your head? On top, so first he was like on his tail, then his back, shoulders, and his head. He's getting closer to his mouth, oh boy. Finally, they reached the very end of the river. They made it, oh yeah. Ha, said the gingerbread man. I told them, I told them they'd never catch me. Thanks, Mr. F oh, it ended on the letter F. Thanks, Mr. F it didn't end with the word fox. Flip, flip, the fox tossed his head back and snap, he caught the gingerbread man in his mouth, crunch, he ate him up. Oh my goodness. So he flipped him up in the air, opened his mouth, and ate him up. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. What did, did you guys predict that? I can't believe this. He consumed him. The fox sat under the trees licking his lips, and it was delicious. Sometimes, at the end of a story in class, we like to talk about if it was a happy ending. And sometimes we think about the whole story and we might think about if it was a happy ending. So if I asked you if this was a happy ending, what would you say? Yeah, sometimes we think about the different characters because each character has a different thing that they want or a different perspective. So was it a happy ending for the gingerbread man? Not really, because he got eaten. Was it a happy ending for the fox? I mean, he got to eat some gingerbread, so yeah. So sometimes, one character wants something, and the other character wants something different. And the ending might be happy for one, and not for the other. If you wrote this story, would you end it this way, or would you change it? I think I would change it. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. Tell me how you would like to see that story end. That was so... Fun. I like to see you guys running and see how fast you can go. You would say run, run as fast as you can. That was a really, really fun fairy tale. So let's see. He was being chased by the cow, the horse, the dog, the police officer, and the old lady. And then that fox tricked him. He was on his tail, his back, his shoulders, his head, and he ate him alive. What a silly fairy tale. Good thing it's just a fairy tale and I still have my cute little gingerbread man. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Tell me what book you'd like to hear next. Have a great day, see you later. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me in the gingerbread land.